be given a key card. When you arrive at the door to your room, you swipe or insert it to unlock the handle and get in. Because the room number doesn't appear on the card, this system is far more secure than door locks with keyhole. The metal case that houses the door locks mechanical and electronic components is called the housing. To make it, they begin by melting zinc ingots. To melt zinc, you have to heat it to about 734 degrees Fahrenheit. Diecast machinery then injects the molten zinc into molds. Between injections, sprayers coat the empty mold cavities with a release agent, the industrial equivalent of greasing a baking pan. A built-in cooling system hardens the metal. Then a trimming die cuts off the excess zinc around each piece and in the openings. Meanwhile, the electronic circuit board, the brain of the lock, takes shape. They call this the pick and place machine. It picks up the 60-odd electronic components and places them in the right position on each board. This computer-guided machine installs 15,000 components per hour. Next, the boards undergo what's called wave soldering. A mix of molten lead and tin surges up from underneath, fusing the components in place and creating electrical bonds. Then, both sides of each circuit board get a coat of silicone-based sealant. This protects the components against the elements. Back to the housings now. Workers lubricate them with grease, then apply what's called a sleeve bearing, a nylon bearing that enables the handle to turn smoothly. Next comes the drive tube, onto which the lever will be assembled on the other side. There are several clutch components that link the lever to the latch. Swipe the right card and they permit the latch to retract. After applying more lubricant, they install an override that enables the hotel to open the door with a key if for some reason the electronics malfunction. They install the circuit board and connect it to the various parts it controls, such as the clutch motor, which they install next. Now they close up the completed housing with a steel backplate. This protects the components inside from rusting. The last step is to insert a battery pack. It holds three standard AA batteries. The factory tests the lock using a test key card because the lock isn't yet programmed to work with a specific card. That's done after installation. Elsewhere in the factory, they assemble the mortise, the part of the lock that goes inside the door. When you lock up, the mortise's bolt comes out of the door's edge and fits into the hole of a receiving piece called a strike plate in the door frame. They close up the mortise with a back plate. This demonstration shows how they install the mortise in the door. Once it's in, they screw a decorative plate on top. This is what the finished electronic door looks like. Key cards have instructions on one side, a magnetic data stripe on the other. They use a generic card to test every lock that comes off the production line. In the quality control lab, they subject every new design to several rigorous tests. They open and close one million times. They subject the lever, latch and lock to repeated impacts. They also test lock function in extreme temperatures. These electronic door locks come in several metal finishes plated over the zinc, and even in a painted finish that simulates wood.